welcome to this house with D once again. Today's project is making these curtains um, perfect for this window. It's kind of a high window. Um, I wouldn't normally put a curtain or a covering on a window that high, but as you can see, our neighbors are pretty close. So I just want to put something up, but yet I don't want to keep them long because I want to um, be able to see my sign that I have above our bed. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, hem this. I only bought the one panel because I couldn't find uh, curtains that was the, the perfect length. So I just bought one extra long panel of the curtain that I wanted and now I'm going to cut it and then make maybe one or two uh, other panels to go on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin right here of where I want it to end but then I have to consider that the hem is going to be four inches doubled twice. So what I'm going to do is as you can see, I've got a pin where I want it to hem, where I want it to, to end uh, the curtain. And then I'm going to, before I cut, I will measure eight inches uh, under that so I can fold it up twice and make a perfect heavy. I mean, the heavier the hem, um, the better your curtain hangs. Of course, I always say that. Uh, the more fabric you have, the better the hang. Uh, so we're going to measure eight down from those pins that I've uh, put in of where I want it to end. And then we're going to cut um, right across the bottom right here. And then I'll hem them up and do the exact same for the other side. And I'll show you um, how to put the interfacing on the top. Uh, we already have this hem that's already there. So I'm going to use this for the other panel. And I'll copy that hem for the other piece that I cut off. And then I will uh, add interfacing to make the top to be able to hang well. Okay, so for the hem of the first panel, I've got folded four inches, and this is for the hem, not the top. And then you fold and press it all the way across, and then fold it again, exactly the same length as your previous fold. Just measure it just to make sure. Four inches, there we go. Get your base press and then keep on pressing all the way across until you have two folds for your hem. Just like that. You can actually measure as you go to make sure you're at four. Oh, that one's a little bit. Okay. This is um this is a linen, so it's it's really flimsy and and moves super easy. So you could have one spot four inches, another three quarters, or uh, three and three quarters. Um, and if this was cotton, you can make this seam like this, and hem like this, and just put it right under your machine. But because it's linen, I'm going to put pins all the way across. I'll show you how to do this. I'm going to put pins all the way across just because this fabric moves so easy. And again, if this is if you're using a cotton, um, might not be necessary to pin it um, after you get it pressed because cotton kind of stays in place. But this linen um, shifts very easy, kind of like this. So we are going I'm going to put pins all the way across and then we're going to do one stitch all the way across and we'll be done with that panel. Okay, so we have it all pinned, ready to go. We're gonna do one stitch all the way across, close to the edge as you can. Pins falling out. You are 
are done with one channel. I think for the ends, the edges where it's open, I think I'm going to stitch that up just to keep the fabric from fraying that's inside because it's linen. Maybe if it was different. Maybe if it was different fabric, it wouldn't fray, but... There. That way, that fabric inside will not fray. So there you go. We're going to take out the pins, and you've got your panel all done. Okay, so the only thing different about this panel that's um, from the from the other one is we're doing the top of this one because we're keeping the hem that they made. Um, so the only thing different is I cut uh, interfacing to make it, you know, that thickness on the top that hangs on to your clips. Um, I cut two interfacings. I'm using two because I want it just a little bit heavier. Uh, and I'm just using a basic interfacing that I have. Um, I have lots of interfacing for men's collars or shirts. So just use that. And you again, if you don't want to double it, you don't have to. I just want it a little bit thicker. Okay, so lay it on there just right. And so before you do your first uh, and second hem, you're just going to press this on to your fabric. Lay your, lay your curtain right down and press your interfacing right on the edge of the fabric and then you're going to flip it up one time. And then a second time for the second fold. Beautiful. So this will make it nice and uh, heavy for the top to be able to click on or put on those uh, clamps. All right, so you're ready to fold one time. It's gonna be a lot easier to um, hem this because I have already pre-cut this interfacing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, any excess interfacing, I'm just gonna trim off. I made it a little extra longer because uh, a little bit longer because I was um, not sure if it would sh the the linen would shift, so I'm just cutting off that little bit extra. You know what? Maybe I'll pull it in past so we don't see it when it's hanging. Yeah. So pull it in just a little bit because it's already got that thick seam. So I'll cut off that edge. There we go. And then we're going to basically um, do the exact same thing that you did for the first panel. Fold once, press, fold the second time, press, and stitch. And you have two panels, and we'll go hang these and see what they look like. So there we have it. It turned out perfect, and I absolutely love it. I can still see my sign. It matches the other curtains that are on the big window. Absolutely perfect. Thank you for joining This House with D. Hope to see you back here again. Make sure you like the video, share, comment, any questions, let me know, um, and I'll try to help. And um, Make sure you subscribe.